Hello, welcome to GCSE Bite Size Science. This is Dr Chris Smith and also Dr Kat Arney. We're from The Naked Scientists. And now hormones, they're mysterious chemicals in our bodies that control all sorts of processes from fertility right through to blood sugar levels. So let's find out a bit more about them. Kat, what are hormones and why do we have them? Well, hormones are chemicals that are produced by glands in the body and transported around in the blood. And there's lots of different hormones and they affect different organs. So hormones act to control the functions of cells and organs, helping to keep us healthy and functioning properly. And the main aim of the game is homeostasis, which basically means keeping a constant internal environment. So what sorts of processes do they control? Well, for example, it's very important to control how much water's in our bodies. We lose water through our lungs every time you breathe out. Like, there it goes. And we also lose uh, water in sweat and urine as well. So hormones help to control water loss by keeping water in our body when we need more of it. In a similar vein, we also need to control the amount of ions or salts in our bodies. And the levels of ions in our bodies can affect how much water gets into or out of cells. We can lose ions by sweating and also in our urine as well. And hormones play an important part in regulating the levels of these ions in the body and also when they're excreted in our sweat and our we. So another important thing to control is our body temperature, which needs to stay at, at 37 degrees centigrade for all our cells to work properly. Now hormones control our temperature by controlling blood flow to the skin, as well as things like sweating and shivering as well. And finally, we need to control the levels of sugar in our bodies to make sure that all our cells get the energy they need. Well, let's take a look at some individual hormones and how they work. So give us some examples. Well, for a start, there's our adrenal glands, which are found just above the kidneys and they make adrenaline, which acts on organs like the lungs, liver and heart to prepare us for action. This is the fight or flight response. So, for example, if you have a shock, boo, and your heart starts pumping away, that's adrenaline working. Another example is the pituitary gland at the base of the brain, and this makes a chemical called antidiuretic hormone. This acts on the kidneys, making them take water back from our urine, and this helps to control the amount of water in our bodies. And then there's also the pancreas, which helps to make the hormone insulin, and this acts on the liver and on other cells in our body to control the levels of sugar in our blood to make sure that all our cells get the energy they need when they need it. Some people with diabetes can't make enough insulin, so they have problems controlling their blood sugar and they need to inject extra insulin to, to counteract this. But most of the time we hear the word hormones in the context of sex and fertility, so how does that work? Well, men and women do produce several hormones that are involved in controlling puberty and fertility. So, for example, women's ovaries make oestrogen, and this acts on the ovaries themselves, as well as on the womb and the pituitary gland. And this controls puberty and the menstrual cycle. Ovaries can also make progesterone, which acts to maintain the lining of the womb. Uh, the pituitary gland also plays a big role by producing follicle-stimulating hormone, which triggers egg ripening and oestrogen production by the ovaries. And it also makes luteinizing hormone hormone which triggers the release of eggs from the ovaries as well as progesterone production by the ovaries as well. well that's all about women these hormones are also found in men so how does that work? Well, the main male sex hormone is that famous one, testosterone, which is made by the testes or testicles. And this helps to control puberty and sex drive in males, making them grow beards and get bigger muscles and a deeper voice as well. Thanks, Kat. So that's the basis of what hormones are and some of the key players in the human body. In part two, we'll be finding out how they control the female menstrual cycle and how this can also be used for things like contraception and IVF.